So in some cases, it's quite challenging to go from a pair of parametric equations to a Cartesian equation. Um, and that's really down to the types of odd-shaped curves that parametric equations can produce and how versatile they are. Much more versatile than uh, Cartesian equations really are. So sometimes uh, when we are given parametric equations and we want to go to a Cartesian equation, we must be told a format that will work because otherwise it's just going to be too difficult to try and find it. So here is an example where we're given a format and we need to find that value of k. And all this is, is substituting into this equation. I have my x, I have my y. So if I find what x minus y is, that's going to be this equation, take away this equation. So I have 2t, take away 2t, well that's 0. And minus 1 over t, take away 1 over t, which is minus 2 over t. I also need to find x plus y. So x plus y is this equation plus this equation. So 2t plus 2t is 4t, minus 1 over t plus 1 over t is 0. So I have my x minus y, I have the x plus y, so if I substitute them into this, I have minus 2 over t times by 4t. The t's are going to cancel out, and I'm going to be left with minus 8. So the minus 8 is the value of k that I'm looking for. So that means that to convert these two parametric equations into Cartesian form, all it is is x minus y, x plus y is equal to minus 8. And that has just been found through substitution. And that's really how you do it. In those kind of cases, you're given the uh, style of the Cartesian equation to be used, to be, to be worked with, and it is just a substitution exercise.